200 feet. 150. Captain, we're going up. 50. Impossible. <laughs> what the? Mom? She's had her Weetabix. Have you had your Weetabix? There's your Strongbow original, the new Rosé, Sweet Cloudy Apple, and of course, the famous Dark Fruit, now in ultra low alcohol. Quite the line up there. Dad? What on earth is this, Amelia? Hold tight. <laughs> Relax. I'm your tank guru. Just tell him it's a massager. Perfect after a stressful day. Uh, it relieves tension headaches, Dad. Oh. oh wow. Could I, could I borrow this and take this to work tomorrow? Oh, wow. Relaxing, that's lovely. Darling, come and try this uh, head massager. It's lovely. It's time to tango. Darling? Welcome to Cineworld, where cinema means more. More together times, and I've so been looking forward to this. More gravity-defying, nerve-shredding, eye-widening, jaw-dropping moments. Unlimited movies anytime, and more memories made. More of what you love, at a place you love. Feel more. Feel more at Cineworld. Some real, some unreal. Why live in just one when you can immerse yourself in the richness of others? Worlds that will break your heart. Worlds that will put it back together. Within each one, there are stories that push the limits and then go beyond. Experience these worlds to the fullest.
then experience a thousand more. I used to live my life a quarter mile at a time. But things changed. I'm a father now. I will always be in your heart. Little Brian, I have a gift for you. Your daddy gave me this. Now I'm gonna give it to you. It's very special. It's for protection from what's coming. All right, Dom, what's next? No matter how fast you are. I am not too big compared to you. No one outruns their past. I am more easy, you trying your best to become me. And mine just caught up to me. Been a long time, Dom. So we're up against a master thief. Assassin, high performance driver. Who is he? Jacob is Dom's brother. Your whole life, you pushed yourself to be faster than Dom, smarter than Dom, stronger than Dom. But could you kill him? Because I'm ready if you are. There's nothing more powerful than the love of family. But you turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we're gonna go out together. You know I'd ride to the death with you. Please tell me that's not a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine? Impressive. I know. No. No, that's that's not impressive. My ass is in fuego! Magnet plane? Hold on. Tell me you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. There's no bridge! Oh, hell no. Nice clubhouse. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. This is coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. Hopefully Harley's still alive. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire up. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. I'm so sorry. Harley Quinn. Blood sport. You know the deal? <laughs> successfully complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. You fail to follow my orders in any way, and I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. 
can do the job for free. So this is the famous Suicide Squad. Nom nom. Any questions? Hand. Yes, that is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. I hope so. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here's the deal. We fail the mission, you die. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. If you cough without covering your mouth... Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. What's the plan? How the hell am I supposed to know? You're the leader. You're supposed to be decisive. And I've decided that you should eat a big bag of dicks. If this whole beach was completely covered in dicks, and somebody said I'd eat every dick until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problemo. Why would someone put penises all over the beach? Who knows why madmen do what they do? This is suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. I'm gonna get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. Oh my god, we've got a freaking kaiju up in this shit! Uh huh. I don't wanna do your I love the rain. It's like angels are splooching all over us. Once upon a time, in a faraway land called Washington Heights. Say it so it doesn't disappear. Washington Heights! Lights up on Washington Heights up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grate at the crack of dawn, sing while I wipe down the awning. Hey, y'all, uh, good morning. It's a story of a block that was disappearing. The genius is back! Yo, here's your chance. Ask her out right now. Hey! There's something on your shirt. <laughs> Smooth operator all oh, damn. We all had a sueñito. And when it came to dreams, we had to keep scraping by. Maybe this neighborhood is changing forever. Maybe tonight is our last night together, however. I just want to see the whole world through her eyes. They're talking about kicking out all the dreamers. It's time to make some noise. We had to assert our dignity in small ways. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible. This is the moment when you do better than me. Because you can see a future that I can't. made all of this? This is me. They used to say, if you work hard, if you live by the rules, the money will come, the things will come. You ready? I've been saving up all my pennies and my piggy bank for this day. Today's all we got, so we cannot stop. This is our block. In the heights, I hang my flag on this way. days of my life, and I built my little dream, my sueñito. Here, Washington Heights. We're taking the flight to a couple of days in the life for what it's like in Washington Heights. You don't know everything about me. I've lived a lot of lives. Before I was an Avenger. Before I got this family. I made mistakes choosing between what the world wants you to be. And who you are. We have to go back to work.
where it all started. Where did you think I was all this time? We have unfinished business. My girls are the toughest girls in the world. I'm sorry. We had our orders and we played our roles. It wasn't real. It was real to me. To me? You were everything. Bring her. She's such a mom. One thing's for sure. I'm done running from my past. I love going to the cinema. I love it. I love going to movies. I love everything about it. Movie theaters are like a, a church to me. They're, they're a holy ground. I adore them. It takes you back to your childhood in a way. That's just that thing of getting into a dark room and the lights go down and the screen illuminates and it's just magic. The scale of the image and the, the richness of the sound around you, it like induces a kind of hypnosis. It's like wakeful dreaming. And when the trailers are so good that you forget what movie you're seeing. I think films are always better on the big screen and in the dark. That whole exciting moment when the lights go down and you know, the whiff of the popcorn. Oh, popcorn. The snacks. I love getting the drinks and the, and the chocolates and then sinking down in my seat and knowing that I'm sitting alongside lots of people, but in my own little bubble. This time is just for me. I can just, you know, watch this story and really feel it, you know, and come out feeling different. It's immersive in a way that nothing else is. I absolutely love to forget that I'm in a movie theater. It allows you to be one with the movie. You leave the world behind, don't you? The gasps, the sighs, the intakes of breath are always worth it when you're in a big dark room with a whole bunch of other people. Sitting in a dark room with strangers on, on a mission together. Uh, I think that's my favorite thing, the fact that you're going and you're watching it with other people. The connection in the theater is more powerful. There's something that connects us very much communally when we share that experience of sitting in a dark room and seeing a story. There's nothing that'll ever replace the sense of community when you're going to the movies. Your own emotions and feelings towards the film are amplified. And we laugh together and we cry together and we gasp together. It's community, that's what cinema is. It's the size and it's the, the shared experience. All of us walking out of there feeling like we experienced something special together. It's all about the experience and I think that's something that will never go away. There's, there's nothing quite like going to the cinema. It's magic, you guys do good, good work.